MBTA riders avoided a fare increase this year, but some will be paying more to park at train stations. The governing board at the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority voted Monday to raise per-day parking rates at 32 lots and garages, starting August. 1. Rates will decline at 21 stations, however, and hold steady at 46 others. The board also voted to charge lower rates on weekends, making the prices less expensive than the weekday rates at nearly every station. The Red Line lots at Alewife, Braintree, and Quincy Adams will charge the highest rates, with $7 fees rising to $10. Weekend parking there will cost $3. It fast forward in your inbox, forget yesterday's news. Get what you need today in this early morning email. Thank you for signing up. Sign up for more newsletters here at Chestnut Hill Station on the Green Line and Wellington Station on the Orange Line. $6 weekday rates will increase to $9. But at the Haverhill Commuter Rail lot, for example, the $4 rate will fall to $2. Evan Rowe, the MBTA's Director of Revenue, said the rate adjustments are the first in more than 10 years. The goal is to tailor prices to demand, drawing more drivers to lower-priced stations while capitalizing on busy lots at other stations. You have too little demand and too much demand, he said. We've underutilized facilities where thousands of spaces sit empty on a typical weekday or on a weekend. But at overused facilities, commuters have to arrive at 7.30 in the morning or earlier to get a parking spot. Under the new system, riders will have to pay an additional $2 during special events, such as sports events or concerts. The extra charge will apply only after normal commuting hours, Rowe said. Events and locations will be posted in advance, he said. The MBTA had signaled for months that it planned to raise prices, even factoring additional parking revenue into its budget. The policy will generate an additional $8.5 million in the new fiscal year, Rowe said. Transportation Secretary Stephanie Pollack recommended a more modest increase, especially at red line stations, where rush hour breakdowns are common. She expressed concern that a large increase could lead some riders to abandon the trains altogether, especially because some of the MBTA's performance issues remain a problem. I'm more comfortable, with a lower rate, Pollock said. But board members decided to move forward with the larger increase, saying they will review any unintended consequences after three months. Adam Vicaro can be reached at adam.vicaro at globe.com. Follow him on Twitter at, at Adam Vicaro.